Module 4, Things to Look Out For Not Being Persistent Enough People think that they can just go sit and tap for 20 minutes, and then if their issue doesn't completely go away, they think, well, that didn't work. <laughs> well, that's not really true. The bottom line is that you need to be persistent. This is key and is one of the most common mistakes people make with respect to tapping. They give up way too soon and do not continue to tap on their issue. Even if you have taken an issue and broken it down into smaller issues, then you need to stay with it and choose one of those things and tap it through, and then the next day choose another one and tap it through and so on. Be persistent with it because you will get results. Sometimes it does take a while. In fact, most of the time it takes a while. There are those one minute wonders or the 20 minute wonders, and that's great, but I'm gonna tell you that the results you can get from regular tapping are profound. I had a client years ago who really showed me the power of persistence. When she came in, she was very depressed and negative. This was how she described herself. She said she didn't have any friends at work, people stayed away from her, and she was not in a good headspace. She'd been depressed for a really long time. She had heard about tapping, and so she was really committed to trying it. So she started tapping on herself, and she came in for some sessions. I think she only did about six sessions, and she was really persistent about tapping on herself. She said, I tap on my hand points under my desk, I go in the bathroom and I tap, I tap on my lunch break, I tap in my car, I tap at night, I tap at home. She was tapping on everything she could think of, everything that came up. She told me she was tapping between 6 and 15 times a day, sometimes even more. After only about 3 months, she came in and she was at the 5th or 6th session and it seemed like she was a different person. She was beaming. Her energy was light, you could tell she was happier, and she said, you know, I'm tapping all the time. And the funniest thing happened at work. She said, I had a coworker come over and tell me that she loved coming over to my desk now. She said that I don't know what's different about you, but this is like the positivity zone over here. <laughs> and this woman was floored by that. She said, I was the biggest grump at work before, and someone else came over and commented on how happy I seemed. So she completely transformed in a very short time, largely because she did all that work on herself in tandem with seeing a practitioner. So you can really get some stuff done, but you need to keep at it. There are the occasional 1 minute or 20 minute wonders. These, however, like I said, are not all that common. Major shifts in pain and emotional states do require some work, especially depending on the nature and the source of the problem. They do happen sometimes, and they are so exciting when they do. But what they show us is that tapping has that potential to clear things rapidly and easily. That being said, however, it really depends on the nature and the origins of the problem. It may be that a seemingly small problem needs five to ten sessions on yourself or with a practitioner to fully clear. It really depends. Tapping is truly amazing. It's an awesome tool. It is so powerful and so much faster than using many other techniques depending on how you use it. But people who get consistent amazing results are usually persistent with the work. You need to continue tapping. How often are you tapping? Is it enough? Maybe you're not being persistent enough or regular in your tapping. I'm not saying you need to tap every day, but some people do. Or you might go through times when you tap a lot and other times where you don't tap at all. Maybe you tap every day on something that's really bothering you for a couple of weeks. Or maybe you tap a little bit each day on something that you knew was a big issue that you've broken down into pieces and you clear a little piece day by day until you're getting at the root of it. That's awesome. That might take you a week, a month, but then maybe there's a period where you don't tap in between. That's fine too. I take periods off of tapping all the time. In fact, sometimes I ask my clients to stop tapping for a while, especially if we've been doing very intense work in a short time. Don't feel guilty if you're not tapping on things. Like I said, I go through periods where I'm not tapping either. I forget to tap sometimes. Something will come up and bother me and I'll let it fester and then I remember, oh yeah, I can tap on that. <laughs> it happens and it's not a big deal, but it's important to remember to go back to it and to continue if it's a more chronic issue because you'll need to be more persistent with it.